So I actually went to elementary school in Manitoba um, and would walk to school every day with my father, who was also a teacher. My mom's also a teacher now as well. And then we moved to Calgary uh, for junior high and played every single sport under the sun. I was the athletic type and at the same time kind of a jock nerd. I went through the uh, International Baccalaureate program at Diefenbaker and graduated with both my chemistry and physics certificates in the IB program. Met Des for the first time in uh, the fall of 2005 when he enrolled at SAIT. Uh, you could just watch uh, the body language, where he positioned himself in class, uh, the way that he would respond to questions and the manner in which he would pose questions, that he already had some idea of what he would like to do. When he went to SAIT, he loved it. He talked about uh, the classes that he took and the skills that he was able to gain from it, the experience that he knew leaving SAIT he would have to succeed in the real world and he felt that SAIT really set him up for success. I'm a wealth advisor at Sun Life and have been here just over two and a half years now. My job as a wealth advisor is to uh, sit with clients and help them understand both insurance investments and then creating a financial plan to help them succeed with their future. Being able to sit down with people who don't understand the world of finance and help show them how they can succeed with their financial plan just means the world to me. The best way to describe him is when he says he's going to do something, he does it. Uh, he's extremely generous uh, with his time, both uh, in his career and, and outside of his career. And somebody that I know uh, puts as much time as possible into preparing for his clients to make sure that he does the best job for his clients that he possibly can. It's very impressive to watch Des grow as a business person through the digital means. He created a persona that's called Advisor Des and he has been able to brand that very successfully in Calgary. Uh, he uses it through Twitter, he uses it through blogs, through websites, through Facebook, and many people throughout Calgary know him as Advisor Des. Even if they haven't met him, they know Advisor Des, and they know that he gives sound financial advice, but he's also there to provide tips and tricks just about living in Calgary. He organizes charity events, he donates his time, he spends countless hours raising money, uh, to send him and the teams to go across the country, across the world, to build houses for Habitat for Humanity, to fight cancer, to uh, bring awareness to a lot of different causes. It's one thing that I truly admire about Des uh, and his vigor to just change the community he lives in. We've done a couple Habitat for Humanity trips together. So we've traveled to Mexico and he was my co-team leader in Thailand. So he's not afraid to roll up his sleeves and go out and get dirty and get the work done. It's not easy work uh, when, when we're there, and Des, in particular, uh, being the, one of the younger ones on the uh, on the crew, uh, we kind of rely on him to do all the grunt work and uh, all, all the all the heavy work. But he is very, very passionate about him uh, about it, and I've never seen him um, uh, lose any interest in that at all. I found that I can give back in many ways. So I've done the Relay for Life. I've ran in the underwear affair. I've done breast cancer fundraisers. But I found that if I want to take that extra step in my life, then starting my own fundraiser was the way to do it. So Des does a, a fundraiser every year um, to raise money for cancer and cancer research. And, uh, and, and, he's, and at these, he's had people who are cancer survivors speak. And I'm a cancer survivor myself. And so when I see his, um, his passion towards uh, what, what, what he does and uh, you know for his friends that are cancer survivors and people that, that are, are cancer survivors. It's very touching and it really helps build a relationship with people to, to see just how much they care. You know, look at this young man at such a young age and the fact that he actually cares about the world around him. I think that's incredible. I know it's not normal for young people to volunteer as much as I do, but I grew up in a family where my parents were always very active and so I also followed in their footsteps and became a busy bee. My schedule is packed 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. almost every day of the week. And that's what I love doing. So whether it's giving back or whether it's doing personal things for myself, that's just the way I am. Des, I want to uh, wish you congratulations on, on this award. It's well deserved, you worked hard for it, and we look forward to continuing our relationship with you. Congratulations, Des, I'm incredibly proud of you. I think you are the talk of the town. There's no one I know that's more deserving of an award than you, 
You inspire me, you inspire a ton of people, and you drive us all to be better. Congratulations.